Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2 for Remote Edition. In the previous episode, we basically did some modification to some of our routes and some of our equipment. And basically, we also have to encounter quite a big traffic jam, as many of my vehicles are basically going into the wrong directions or to the wrong locations. Although, on the plus side, we finally got started on transporting tools down to the town of Grand Valley. But, again, this is a there's a big reason for this episode right now, because most of these trains are blocking the main line. I cannot get any trains through because somehow all the trains are backed up at this single junction. Because somehow all these trains got stuck because of this one switch. And this big junction here, because this train wants to basically be on another route. And I can't basically get any trains through until I get this track cleared. So that that's set of a Alco PA, well, the generic, well, the standard Alco PA, can basically get on through. So I'll have to use another signal shortcut just to get this train to move again. One thing is for sure, hopefully with the new routing I have set up, at least this train will basically go in the right direction on the return trip. Though I still wonder on why this my Alco PA doesn't want to return on this section of the track on the return trip. All the signals I have set will basically be set in the right direction for the return trip. Unless... Hmm... Well, it doesn't have a crossover here, so it should be okay. Let's see... Maybe I might be able to fix it by getting the train to go through Grand Valley signal. Grand Valley, then Granite, and then going back the same way out of Granite from Grand Valley. But basically going on this route instead. I think that may have fixed the problem. If I just add it to this signal here... Yeah! So that was the problem. I just didn't put the signals in the correct order for the Alco PA to go through. But, nonetheless, now with that... Now, with the junction cleared up again, hopefully my trains will be able to get back on schedule. Although, maybe, it's probably time to build a four-lane switch to go this way. And then just build a huge crossover, and just use this big crossover to get all the trains in the correct tracks and destinations. But first, all of my trains have to clear this area first, before I do anything else. Hmm. Okay, that should fix the problem now. Though this train will have to pass through this area again. For this middle train, a bauxite can get through. And this bauxite is heavily needed at the aluminum plant because there hasn't been any deliveries of aluminum for a while, and the charts are showcasing that out of all these years, I haven't been supplying it very well. Plus, my diesel switcher that's located here is waiting impatiently for that aluminum. Alright, the aluminum train is now on the move. So now it should clear the entirety of the main line out. Although this commuter train is basically stuck because of the signals are not set. So the track for the pedal to the main has not been set properly. But once these tracks are cleared, that train will basically depart with only six passengers. I can see why many people choose to ride the express trains more than the commuter trains because at least they are a lot more reliable getting to their final destinations. And also, this 
train of lumber is also getting stuck behind because of, well, the, of the junction. Which I probably might have to fix by placing down a few of those signals. Now then, let's see. I'll probably have to basically pause the game for right now, so I don't mess anything up. And remove the signal gantry, and these four tracks. Not practical, but it should at least be one part of the problems that could be fixed by replacing this four-lane switch. So first of all, I need to lay down some new track. Without the catenary system, mind you. It somehow... I, oh. Alright. Connect that. And that. But also build the track this way and then basically add the switches this way that means I'll have to eventually remove this signal gantry and these tracks surrounding this train but, again, once this is all cleared, I'm pretty sure all the trains can easily access their ri the rifle tracks without trains basically getting stuck behind each other. I'll connect these tracks here, and these tracks as well. And finally, connect these to the main. Hmm... Let me see, is it possible I can do it at a much farther angle for maximum speed? Yeah, like that. Connect to that, connect to... Oh, that is, that does not look good. And then just do this connection and that should basically be doing it. Now, according to this, all the routes have been modified, but now all the express trains will basically just stay on the middle two lines, when in reality they shouldn't. Not to mention, I don't think I really need that double slip switch anymore, but actually, huh, looks like I'll have to basically modify this section, I'm afraid, so at least all the trains can use the right tracks. Okay, with that out of the way, let's see. We'll use the middle track here. A uh, construction not possible, what? Uh, never mind. Sometimes the track editor, sometimes the track building tool does not work properly for some dang reason. Finally, do a connection here by adding another track. And then basically building a junction for the two for all the lines to connect to. And since this is gonna be a freight only track to connect to well the bauxite to the aluminum mill. Uh, I'll have to get rid of some of this other stuff, I guess, just to basically fix that switch. This improvement to the mainline trackage will basically be very beneficial in the end. As with that track being modified, it should allow any train 
to basically not get stuck behind any other trains. Perfect. Now I just need to do next is just add the signaling system back up and then just get the trains rerouted through. Which in this case, hmm. Yeah, commuter trains and freight trains are going through this track. Well, not commuter trains. Freight trains and town supply freights. Let's see. Signal, 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 signal. And to fix that signal on the gantry. And I th that will probably do it on that section. Now I just have to take care of adding signals on this section. I know the signaling between the two jump. I know the signaling is not ideal, but actually, no. I've been told that placing signals after junctions is not a good idea. But, however, with this modification in place, let's see. Black Diamond River to Riverside. It's going from Longhorn to Riverside, so it'll go through that signal. And then on the return trip back from Riverside to Longhorn, it will use this track instead. Thereby matching up with the passenger line. Let's see. And to Grand Valley, it'll basically just go through the signal first. It will go through the signal first on the way up, and then it will basically take this track on the return of the line. Train 9 will basically follow the same pattern. From Longhorn, it will go through this signal, and on Riverside, it will go back on this track. Let's see, refined oil, raw oil. How come my trains are stopped again? Hmm. Well, the only trains that basically go through here are just regular freights. So, maybe I could just delete these tracks and just reroute the entirety of the water train. Basically going on the middle two tracks to connect to the water f to the factory that requires the water. Let's see. Uh, do it like this. And do that. And yeah, that will do it. Perfect. Now the freight tr Let's see. I don't think I'll even need to use this crossover piece. Although, yeah, I don't really think I need this double slip switch track anymore because there might not, there's not a point of having this section of track in place. There's already some tracks already built already that have that in place. So, it should basically work now. Besides, most of the trains are basically using the same line as they're supposed to for their freight operations. Though, this train of oil does need to get to its destination.
though, I think it's probably best if I add another signal gantry at the end of these junctions, actually. Otherwise, those trains will get stuck entirely, and they won't move. And we hit a new year in the game. The year 1998. We got the smart coupe. Well, the smart city car. And, uh... Anything else other than this, just that, hopefully a new locomotive, maybe some new rolling stock, please. Here, a new bus, the Orion, a new plane, a new refrigeration car, and that's basically it. Yeah, that works a lot better, actually. And I might as well just do the same on this one, too. Well, actually, no. I don't think I really need to. I just don't know. Sometimes I feel like that the signaling I'm adding is good enough. But not to mention, why do I need to have a crossover switch like this for the returning passenger service? commuter train. I need to check the route. Let's see. Uh, it's not going into the station for some darn reason. Oh. Well, it's going up track three. That is for sure. Yeah. Much, much better. I think I might have finally fixed that darn problem with the signaling system. And now with all these tracks modified, all these trains can finally get to their destinations in a relatively easy manner without any huge compilations or basically huge traffic jams. Either case, my passenger trains are now fully moving at a good high speed, and with all these changes, there should now be enough room for all of my freight trains to basically traverse through. Though I think I might have to basically add a signal gantry here. I guess that could work. I mean, it has to work, otherwise my trains would be basically losing money. Speaking of... Speaking of which, I think I might have to start getting replacing these planes. I mean, they're in very good condition, but I feel like it's time... Let's see, what was that new jet plane? I think it was this one. Yeah, this one could carry about 40. But this one... 66. 
and the A320 can carry 74. Hmm. It is a new plane, but it doesn't carry as much as the last one. Also, if the tracks at Green and Longhorn are routed, you can always use Platform 3 instead. Well, I think I'm happy to say that with these modifications done to the main line, this 4-track main line is not only basically making every train travel in a good coordination, but with train trains traveling on the most inner two tracks, I will be able to have all my passenger trains travel on the outer tracks to reach their final destinations without any congestion. I can safely say I think this is basically the last improvement I need to basically fit for this four track mainline operation. Although it does kind of block the mainline for some of but other than that, it works. It wow. Okay. I'm sorry, but this is a really awesome shot right here. Just the steam excursion and the two pieces racing each other side by side. Both the old and modern motive power and help build. That is just. So awesome. But other than that, let's see, is there anything else that needs to be worked on? Well, general goods. It's supposed to go through. Why is it going through here? What's its destination? Shine's Tent. It's going to the goods factory in Lower Granite, but it needs to go to Shine's Tent, which is located. Let's see, where is Shinestown located, actually? I know I've seen that town somewhere. That's Blue Water City. Oh, it's using the old... It's using that signal instead. Uh, let's see. There we go. That works a lot better. That Blue, that blue Water City signal is kind of messing everything up. So, it's so annoying that some of these trains basically are blocking the way of the main line, just for some of the trains. Which, uh, yeah, there's no need to have this section of track on this line anymore because there's no crossovers. It's kind of blocking the way of the other trains, so I might as well place down those signal gantries, actually, and just place down the signals that I need to keep the trains moving again. Hopefully, this will basically alleviate as many of the congestion problems as our company has faced. I mean, there's so many trains and so much traffic going on, it's basically causing so much chaos and so much congestion. Yeah, this train cannot exit out of the station until the track ahead of it is clear. Well, hopefully within time the trains will basically get used to the new, uh, scheduling and the trains will basically start operating at a much more efficient timetable. But other than that, I think we reached a good ending point for today's episode. So, if you have enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That's Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.
Bye. Let me just get to a good spot to basically end this off. Which will basically be here. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. The game is lagging right before I finish the video. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video.